Hello, my dear. Happy welcome to this uh, global meeting specifically designed for you. Greatest inspiration or motivation for the all your life. We are doing uh, one hour intensive every day. Mobilize the greatest uh, inspiration and motivation for you in this uh, intercontinental uh, heaven and earth uh, interfaith and international uh, international um, summit. And this summit is already uh, 1081st meeting in a row. We just meet daily. And uh, in global prey chain, we mobilize the world because you know the scientists find out that human beings could use just five percent of their potential. Another ninety-five is came from God, and this is all our meetings about. We um, are praying daily in global prey chain, where all eight billion people are welcome. Join hands together and finish uh, ultimate global peace by 2027 in every country. In the these meetings, where so many miracles. Just subscribe the channel and share this message to billions. Therefore, we are so happy to be together with you. And uh, let me go with the, um, our program. Stay till the end to receive full blessing. More blessing is below the video. And also join with the donation, with the volunteer work, with uh, just everything. So we invest one hour. To empower you one hour daily that you could uh, be more um, more happy more inspired with great motivation and uh, receive god's greatest abundance prosperity true love uh, and just everything you was wish till now so let me go with our um, greatest program uh, just with the worship song Oh, so, uh, let me go sing along.
Okay, okay, okay. Great music. Uh, Lies from the East. Let me go uh, next to the presentation. Uh, the greatest presentation, how God will resurrect the people. Uh, this was the task. Uh, everyone is uh, searching for this. So uh, let me see uh, how uh, it actually will come. Yes, uh, happy welcome. Oh, good to hear. <coughs> Welcome back to the Path to Happiness, our series on the Unification Principle. I'm your host, Dr. Tyler Hendricks. In our last session, we discovered how believers thought that resurrection means the saints who were dead would come back to physical life. But we saw that the Bible actually teaches that physical death is natural and that resurrection means spiritual life, to come back to spiritual life, separate from Satan's realm, be reborn as God's child, and develop your spiritual standard through good spiritual practices. Thus, resurrection is a process. But what about those who, who departed already to spirit world? Is there a process of rebirth and resurrection for them? And what does that have to do with life on earth for us? We want to talk about these important points in today's session. According to the principle of creation, the growth of the spirit is possible only through living a good life on earth. The growth of the spirit requires the give and receive action of life elements from God and vitality elements from the physical body. The spirit, like everything, goes through three stages of growth, formation, growth, and completion to reach full maturity. In any era, human beings can revive and resurrect themselves to some spiritual level. According to the level of God's words, the life elements, and their own practice, the vitality elements. Whatever spiritual form a person reached on the earth is exactly where they will go and live as a spirit person in the spirit world after they shed their physical body. God has been carrying out the process of resurrection of these spirits, as well as people on earth, in the history of the Bible. Let's take a look. For generations after the fall, there was no spiritual growth, no resurrection, no word of God, no life elements. We call this very sad era the era to lay the foundation for resurrection. From the time of Abraham, God began the providence of resurrection based on making offerings and, after Moses, following the law. This is the era of the foundation stage resurrection, and people were justified to stand before God based on their works. They became form spirits and created the form spirit stage of the spirit world after they died. During the New Testament age, human beings could raise themselves to be righteous by having faith in Jesus Christ and the gospel and fulfilling their portion of responsibility. Therefore, this era is also called the age of attendance by faith. So this New Testament age, the era of justification through faith, during this time, people needed to have faith in the new words of the New Testament age and accept Jesus and fulfill their portion of responsibility to live as Jesus taught us to live, to attain righteousness through faith in Jesus and thereby achieve growth stage resurrection into life spirits. Human beings will attain spiritual salvation, and this will enable the spirit body to become a life spirit. According to the principle of creation, the place where human beings who have attained the life spirit level live is called paradise. As Jesus told the thief who accepted him on the cross, he said, this day you will be with me in paradise. When Jesus returns as the Lord of the second advent, 
He will bring salvation that is both spiritual and physical. Those who attend him will gain admission to the kingdom of heaven, which is at hand. So this is the age of justification by attendance, of living one's life completely in God's hands. And God will be able to work through the Lord and his bride to free us from the original sin and make us into divine spirits. We become divine spirits. Of course, this requires our great effort and love, which is, again, our portion of responsibility. We gain the guidance to do so through attending the Lord and his bride. Now, what about those spirits who went to the spirit world without having reached the divine spirit level? Those who passed away without attaining completion are required to descend to the earth and receive help from people on earth to fulfill their portion of responsibility and attain resurrection in concert with that person in the physical world. This resurrection is like the second coming of every spirit person who ever lived. Form stage spirits from the Old Testament age who lived a life of practice of the law and accepted and worshiped God, returned to the earth after the coming of Jesus in order to attain their goal with the help of the believers in Jesus who are living on the earth. Thereby, they were able to resurrect into the life spirit stage. And that was the meaning of the biblical passage of the Old Testament saints rising out of the tombs and being seen in the city of Jerusalem. The returning spirits and the believers on earth who cooperate with them in the returning resurrection process benefit equally. Therefore, Matthew 18, 18 says, Whatever you bind here on earth, you shall bind in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. The spirits in paradise who believed in Jesus in the New Testament era will return to the believers at the second coming of the Messiah. These spirits will assist them to attain the divine love as divine spirits and become divine spirits themselves. When these believers shed their bodies and enter the kingdom of heaven, the spirits who assisted them to attain restoration will join them in heaven. In this manner, the providence of resurrection will take place and spirits on different levels will grow to maturity in God's love and go to heaven. This tells us that someday Christianity will become one family under God and end its internal divisions. At the second advent, the spirits in paradise will gather around Jesus and return to Christian believers on earth and cooperate with them. Depending on each individual's faith, personality, and the good deeds of their ancestors, Christian followers living on earth will harmonize with the spirits in paradise who will inspire them to break down barriers on earth, after which they will be broken down in spirit world as well. And this will be a virtuous cycle. Christianity will ultimately unite as one. The phenomena where the faithful receive revelations through voices or see visions or heal people is made possible by spirits who return and cooperate with them. This is explained in the epistle of Jude, who says that in the last days, the Lord comes with holy myriads. The spirits of those who did not believe in Christianity and passed away and thus did not grow to the level of life spirit will also return for resurrection. Those who believed in other religions and passed away will require a different time period, depending on their spiritual growth level, to return for resurrection. These people will return to those people who believe in the same religion. They will cooperate with those people of faith and contribute to further God's providence of restoration and finally attain the same benefits. 
The Savior who will arrive on the foundation of Christianity is the one who the Buddhists look at as the Maitreya Buddha, the one who Confucianists see as the true man, the one who the Shiite Muslims see as the Mahdi, is all the same person. The central figure whose reappearance many religious groups are expecting to witness is the same person. Since all denominations of Christianity and all other religions therefore will ultimately cooperate centering on this this son of God to attain God's providence of restoration centering on the Savior, not just Christians, but all religions will ultimately come together to move toward harmony and unity and peace. How will non-believers, the people who did not live a life of faith while on earth, attain resurrection? The spirits of conscientious people will return to people of good conscience, conscience on the earth and will cooperate in fulfilling God's providence of restoration with their help and reap the mutual benefits. What about outright evil people? God designed what we call indemnity conditions to rid human beings of our sin, liberate us from sin, release us. We can attain the benefit of resurrection when we cleanse our sin by fulfilling what we call conditions or actions of indemnity, which means basically reversing or correcting a sin or a selfish action. And we all know we've got lots of sins and selfish actions to, to get out, to get rid of. Now, according to unification principle, a sin is any action or thought that reciprocates with Satan, with selfishness. People who go to spirit world with a lot of that accumulated feel terrible and tormented with regret and fear, anger and resentment. And we all have some of that in us. How can anyone resurrect through that? Again, nothing happens without finding a partner on the earth. So let's talk about evil spirits, evil people in the spirit world are object partners to Satan and their object partners are the spirits of evil people on the earth. We on earth help them carry out evil activities through our physical bodies, right? Sometimes, whether it be selfish living or exploitation of others or outright criminality. So the work of Satan can be traced to evil spirits that manifest through the physical activities of people living on earth. These evil spirits can attain complete resurrection too. When their counterparts on earth accept the result of their activity as indemnity to cleanse their sin and have gratitude for the opportunity. We resist the impulse to do evil. We go through the same temptations or victimization or troubles that caused the spirit's evil action and we turn it around by overcoming the temptation or enduring the troubles through healing. The evil spirit gives a lot of problems to us on earth, but we follow the principle and if we live for others and have unchanging faith with a grateful heart, eventually the evil spirit will change, will resurrect. This takes tremendous personal strength. So we need to support each other through family ties and friendships, prayer and spiritual practices to get through times of personal temptations and trials. Eventually, all spirits will resurrect through their own conscience given by God and find their way to God's love because God is our true parents. He searches to find every lost sheep and to guide us to green pastures and still waters and to restore our souls. Now you might ask, to what extent is this all guaranteed by God's predestination? Does God plan everything? Or is everything up to me? Which means it might not work out, nothing is guaranteed. The answer is found on the topic of predestination, and we're going to talk about it in our next session. 
Thank you so much for listening. Okay, 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 okay. This was the presentation. Uh, let me go quickly with the words of God from the scriptures of peace. Everyone want to live in peace, uh, but uh, unfortunately it was impossible till now to set up because uh, we need words of God to realize peace. So uh, let me read together God's words about how to establish peace. How the world of peace done in our age. Okay. Humanity has desired peace since the beginning of history, but wars have continued without changing. Unfortunately, strong nations and powerful people have misused the world peace even while they spoke of peace in practice they tormented people in ways that were the opposite of peace the communists in particular would uh, use peace uh, as uh, one of their favorite catchwords uh, even as they habitually provoke others in this way, the word peace has been used many times to camouflage justice as conditions. In the world change, people became entangled in interests and conflict with those of others, making it impossible to establish true peace. In this world, there is no absolute standard in which uh, worldly interests can be fairly evaluated. True peace can be established only on the basis of true love, and true love relationship can be experienced only when people understand the God-centered absolute value that bind human beings together. True peace is not depending on knowledge, wealth, social position, political power, or any other external condition. Okay, this was the quotes for today. So powerful quotes. Um, how the peace will be, true peace will be done by true love of God. So let me go to our brother in Kenya, in uh, heavenly Africa, Archbishop uh, uh, John, to say a powerful prayer for peace and inspiration today. Happy welcome, our dear uh, Archbishop John. Please turn on your microphone and say most powerful inspirational uh, prayer that uh, God could send the earth for the most powerful and blessed uh, possibility ever. Happy welcome. Uh, John, uh, please turn on microphone. Uh, John, uh, there is a button below. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now we can hear you. Okay. Is it okay now? Yes, we can hear you globally. Now let's man. pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you this good evening. Thank you, Lord, for grant us life. Thank you, Lord, for us to be in life. Today, Lord, this is the chance of us to call and to talk to you, Father. Father, we pray for worthy and peace. We pray for love in our families, peace in our families. Father, start with our readers. Lord, this evening, we thank you for our nation to be in peace. I pray for our children. Lord, 
remember our children they were born and they were not born to die they were born to live and to prosper father protect them from all those things that can be die lord protect them lord i pray today for the all men and women of god who are standing in the altars and to say a word of you father bless them father empower them wherever they are all over the world lord i pray for the peace in all world peace for our leaders peace for our families lord i pray for peace between um, um, a husband and his wife i pray for peace for parents and their children lord grant them the peace so that they may able to read your want your and your want <coughs> with the mighty thing lord bless us all i pray with those you want knowing that lord you are with us and in mighty jesus name i pray and believe and you and you and you Adieu, adieu, adieu. Thank you very much, dear Archbishop John. So powerful prayer. So good to hear from you. Uh, let me go quickly to our brother Kaunda, uh, that he may say a very powerful prayer for peace. Uh, dear brother, please turn on your microphone and say a powerful prayer for peace and inspiration today. Kaunda, happy welcome. Please turn on your microphone. Matolo. Uh, but uh, let me go with uh, um, Irina, Ambassador Irina from Uganda. Can you please uh, turn uh, um, on the microphone and say a powerful prayer for peace and inspiration today? Thank you very much. Today we are praying for peace and what? Inspiration, God's inspiration, 95 of inspiration, motivation for uh, okay. God's to the world. That everybody now is in depression and all of these strikes, uh, let them be God's inspiration. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. Okay, let us pray. Good evening, our most precious heavenly parents. Good evening, our beloved two parents of heaven and earth and all humankind. Good evening, our beloved Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints and sages. We thank you very much, our heavenly parents today. We thank you for life. We thank you, Father, that you take care of us every day. We are grateful, Father, that you really find us worthy to be your children. We are sorry for the mistakes that we do every day. We are really uh, putting ourselves up again and pledging that, Father, as you give us life every day, let us learn to use it for the good of your will. And today, Father, we are really praying for peace and restoration, Father. We know that it's not easy, but it's the way that we have to go through. We know that peace has to happen by the year 2027. Sometimes before something good happens, many bad things happen. That's why there are many rights, especially we had in Africa. Kenya, now Uganda, all these rikes, uh, strikes that are being started by the Generation Z, they call themselves. Father, we pray that all this can be solved and all the countries can uh, come to calm as we get peace coming up. Father, thank you so much for all the brothers and sisters who are here every day. I really pray for them and thank them for keeping the banner going, for knowing that, Father, we need urgently peace to happen. Heaven parents, we pray for our leaders, both religious, political, cultural, and economic. The only thing that they have to do is to realize that we have to work together to build the kingdom of God on earth and to stop selfish uh, um, activities and motives and ways that always harm others, Father. Let them learn to live for the sake of others heavenly parents thank you so much 
for our peacemakers, the founders of many of the organizations of peace, Reverend As and Mrs. San Myang Moon. Father, they are doing so much every day to make sure that peace is on earth. Heavenly Father, they've taught us so much in the Bible, especially. They've taught us so much about Jesus Christ, things we didn't know. We are really grateful. And we pray that, Father, the whole world can hear this message so that we may all work together to bring peace on earth. Thank you so much for Brother Nikolai and this program. He comes every day, Father, without fail. And we know that, Father, he's dedicated for your will. We really thank his family and all the people who support him. And I continue to pray for my brothers and sisters who always come, their families, their nations, and of course, the whole world. Thank you so much, Heavenly Parents. I want to report this prayer as Enna Rutanje of the Blessed Central Family. Adieu, adieu, adieu. Amen, amen, amen. Ah, Ju, Ju, amen, amen. Thank you so very much, dear uh, Ambassador Irina. So powerful prayer from uh, the Uganda. We always uh, keep in uh, prayer. Last days, uh, Kenya, and Uganda, all of this. So uh, let me go uh, and invite um, our brother Kaunda Motolo to say a powerful prayer for peace and inspiration. Kaunda, how is your network to now? Can you turn on the microphone and say a prayer? Yes, you can see <laughs> uh, Africa night, <laughs> so maybe on a microphone, say a powerful prayer for peace and inspiration. Yeah, please turn on the microphone, Kaunda. Just microphone because camera work. Let's try one more time. Uh, dear Kaunda, uh, our brother Kaunda, please turn on new microphone. There is a microphone below. Just turn on. Speak. Okay, Hello. I can hear you now. Yeah, please pray. Okay, thank you. Okay, let us pray. Uh, thank you, Father, for giving, me, give, giving us uh, this day. I know you have done an important role for guiding us all in this uh, 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 situation so far. Now, I praise your name. Uh, may you, your name be glorified from now until ever. Thank you so much for keeping us connected with our friends who are being deeply uh, concerned with peace uh, in, in the world. Now I beg you, my Lord, so that you have to uh, make all the countries feel free in terms of uh, wars and so on and so forth. I beg you, my Lord, so that you have to guide uh, the founder of this issue. I know this one is not sleeping day and night. Uh, we are t talking this uh, daily. Uh, it found that uh, <clears throat> we are very serious because the founder is serious also. Now I beg you, my Lord, so that you have to protect the, our founder so that this issue uh, should make something very sensible. You may please uh hear our prayers i know without you there is nothing that can happen around the world you are the creator of the universe you are the prayer answering father we trust you so much may you make our our world our countries our, our nations uh feel free in terms of wars so that there must be peace in the name of jesus I beg you, my Lord, you have to hear whatsoever we are praying for today. May you make this issue go further. May you protect our founder in terms of sickness and so on and so forth, whereby this one is going to encourage us 
so that we we keep on connected together so that there must be peace in the world in the name of jesus i pray amen 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 Amen, amen, amen. Thank you so very much, dear uh, brother Kaunda. So powerful prayer. It's so good to hear from you. So inspiration from your side. Uh, let me go uh, further. Please uh, join my prayer too. I would love to pray for you too. And also to connect everyone with uh, Heavenly Parent, uh, Heavenly Father and Mother. As we today going with the greatest inspiration, motivation, I feel you and God and the Holy Spirit. So let's invite uh, all the billions of spirits also from heavenly world, from uh, the ancestors, uh, Noah, Abraham and uh, all other Jesus uh, to the Messiah and coming. So join together all saints nowadays dear heavenly parent heavenly father heavenly mother thank you so very much for this greatest blessed day we join him together you bless us with one concrete mission to meet here together as representative of humanity and pray for peace 2027 this is uh, the predestination for all eight billion plus people on the earth therefore everyone want to live in peace but unfortunately many don't understand this and they uh, uh, they, they want to give uh, uh, life for the peace, but um, unfortunately they are tricked in, in the wars and uh, all of these strikes, dear Heavenly Parent, uh, we pray for them, uh, we pray for the sick as you ask us in the scripture. And we see how much are sick our brothers and sisters, uh, from simple people to presidents, everyone the big strikes in the families, community, country, the world, and we pray right now for the total liberation from these strikes from this world of um, um, freedom world of true love world of heavenly kingdom that uh, uh, you are building with uh, your children with uh, all eight billions is a world free absolutely totally free from sin Dear heavenly parent we pray in this uh, world without any trace of sin that was uh, uh, blessed uh, by you through the Messiah's second coming right now in this concrete time in this concrete uh, moment in these concrete days that we are living with Messiah's second coming you send them as only begotten son and only begotten daughter and uh, they organize them Jesus promise marriage of the lamb and in this marriage of the lamb all the Christianity all the believers and all even non-believers scientists and uh, uh, everyone, uh, businessmen, uh, stars, and everyone was blessed with one uh, reason to unite with Messiah Second Coming and finish uh, building ultimate global peace, the heavenly kingdom on earth by 2027. And the greatest uh, turning point is um, uh, to one third of the population, at least on earth, uh, need to hear this uh, marathon of the Messiah second coming only because the son and only because the daughter the subtle of the Holy Spirit and this uh, greatest um, second Pentecost that is fire up the earth dear Heavenly Parent lead us lead us every day every hour second let we unite together and accelerate your providence together uh, by this as we pray for all 8 billion plus people on the earth especially for our relatives friends uh, our communities countries and the world Everyone, he asked, dear Heavenly Parent, help them to find this way that the Messiah is coming, open highway from hell to heaven. And that uh, nobody find it till now, even the uh, most powerful presidents and the, and, the, and the kings, they don't find this way, just Messiah find and bring it to the earth. And now this uh, is uh, possible that everyone, all it belongs, could go to heaven just by receiving Messiah and coming. So by this, as we pray for all 8 billion people on earth and also for billions in the spiritual world and for all our descendants uh, for the all eternity, right now in this historical turning point, as we investing in the um, building peace, we are united together with you and uh, working together with you. Dear Heavenly Parent, um, Many could criticize us uh, as was criticized the Christianity in the beginning. Uh, Twelve apostles came after Jesus and built the Christianity. Uh, but it, despite all the strikes that uh, people in power 
was uh, going again against the God's providence and Christianity and believers. The believers build today's world of democracy. And uh, the, this uh, dream of democracy, uh, brotherhood, is done already. And uh, it remains just one more step to go to the kingdom. Dear Heavenly Parent, help us. Help us every day, every hour, every second, that uh, we, all humanity, be wise enough to make this step from hell to he heaven. Right now, right here, there is uh, no time to wait, and uh, there is a um, uh, greatest possibility right now because this is the Messiah second coming time and this will never repeat in the history uh, as the uh, only begotten son and the uh, first time first uh, first uh, coming of the um, only begotten daughter dear heavenly parent lead us lead us every day every hour every second I really pray for you uh, let we unite together and rejoice together uh, dear heavenly parent in today's world uh, I pray for liberation as uh, we are 8 billion people on the earth. We are like 8 billion cells of one human body. And there is a wound, dear Heavenly Parent. We pray for healing this wound this, in Eastern Europe, in Middle East, and in DRC, and uh, Kenya, and uh, Uganda, and all others. What is the strikes, dear Heavenly Parent? Um, this generation uh, Z. Uh, they they call themselves um, uh, was born as the um, the they use to need the Messiah's second coming and they are looking for it even with life and death. So help them to find Messiah's second coming. Uh, help all of us to share this message to billions in the global prayer chain, global um, billions G, not just G7, G20, G77, but billions G. Movement for the Messiah's second coming right now to witness about it. There is no time to wait. Uh, it's just uh, today and let it accelerate. Let this uh, um, uh, saint uh, uh, spirit, uh, this resurrection of the global Messiah's second coming, um, uh, Holy Spirit, substantialization of the Holy Spirit, only begotten daughter, right now shine on earth and on TV channel in all internet throughout the whole world share this good news dear heavenly parent i pray right now uh, as we unite him uh, together he am i uh, uh, you son i we came to speak with god right now to receive this 95 percent of your wisdom and inspiration motivation because we see how much are suffering our brothers and sisters many of them and this uh, um, they, they take uh, medicine to not be in depression, uh, they're in depression because they don't meet yet God. And uh, we uh, were separate from God, but uh, now we want to put God in the center of the world, of the politicians, of the business, of the stars, of the media, uh, of the charities, of the families, of their personal life. And once we put the God in the center, in the Zenith, Messiah Sankami said, there will be heavenly kingdom. The heavenly kingdom already is done the 12th year by the Messiah's and coming and just remain to inherit in every human life in our family, community, countries, and the world. Let me do it. Let me don't be just um, waiting for something. There is no another second coming. It's just right now, right here. Dear Heavenly Parent, does I pray for uh, brothers and sisters who um, you send as a representative of humanity. I pray for all of them in all continent. Uh, in uh, Asia, Africa, uh, Oceania, and Americas, and even Antarctica, and even the spiritual world, and uh, for all our ancestors and all descendants, I pray for uh, Kaunda, Motolo, for um, Ambassador uh, Irina in Uganda, I pray for Archbishop John in Kenya, and for Joseph, uh, and I'm in Europe, dear Heavenly Parent, to, to all my team, dear Heavenly Parent, we unite together and pray together. Just unchasing is 24 per 7, just every second prayer in our channel, Happy TV News. The greatest, uh, most happy news is that Messiah Sagami is uh, right now on earth and we are breathing the same air. And just we inherited Heavenly Kingdom every day. Already 1,088 uh, meeting a row, just every day. 
Dear Heavenly Parent, please receive this day as a pure offering. I pray one more time for my brothers and sisters, all of them who are here right now. Uh, bless them and also help us to find uh, the prepared people who the, that John, John the Baptist mission, uh, who, um, who inspire many people more, uh, thousands and hundreds and millions about the Messiah's coming. Let them witness about the Messiah's coming. Let the billionaires uh, give their money for building the kingdom. Let them stop uh, investing in the wars, what they're doing now, but invest in the peace. Enough is enough. Now we're supposed to unite uh, despite of all our barriers and build a substantial kingdom. Dear Heavenly Parent, I really came to thank you very much for this concrete day and thank you that you are together with us. Uh, we don't know uh, uh, many things, uh, but you said in the scripture that you know how many hairs we have, uh, how many cells we have, what is our health, what our past, and what our future, and how we could lead every a life situation with God in the center. Be the greatest uh, inspiration ever that we will pass this culture for all our descendants. Dear Heavenly Parent, help us bring substantial results tomorrow to invite even more brothers and sisters, all our families, communities, countries, the world, and even presidents and prime ministers, everyone. Just one minute at 7 p.m. in Global Prayer Chain in this Global Rally and Marathon to build substantial peace and kingdom. Even uh, one third of population hear about this and inherit the tradition that Messiah and coming came to live 24 hours with God by 13 April 2025. Please receive this short report. I pray in my name is Nikolai Kirpal, the Center Plus family. A Jew, amen, amen, amen. Let me invite our brother Joseph. Joseph, that, uh, please. Uh, uh, turn on your microphone and say a powerful, most powerful prayer for peace and inspiration today. Joseph, happy welcome. How is your uh, connection and uh, can you turn on your microphone today? Yeah, happy welcome. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for who you are. We thank you because you are not taking permission from any man to be called you are. We thank you for your wisdom and understanding. We, call, we also give you the glory for enablement to gather as a family, a global dynamic for peace and Macedonia's family. We say, may your name alone be all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we have so many reasons to thank you for wisdom and understanding. For in daily basis, you fill us with wisdom. We give, you, you give us enablement to follow you Father, open up our understanding so that we will follow you in truth and in spirit. Give us direction so that whatever we do will prosper. Father, we ask you for more vision, vision to build the world together, to unite the world together, Africa, Asians, Europe, American, so that we will live in peace, we will live in peace and resolve violence in our country. Father, we pray, guide us, open our understanding religious leader, political leaders, our president, fill them with wisdom. And them that we, that they are ruling, will be able to follow them accordingly so that at the end of the day, all glory may be ascribed to you. Father, we still ask you, O oh Lord. Father, you, as we are a leader in this community, Father God, give us that wisdom so that we will be able to keep, relate with our community in a language that they will be able to understand so that we can bring peace to your kingdom. Father God, open up our understanding so that we follow you in truth and in spirit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you very much, Joseph. So powerful prayer from your side. Uh, yes, uh, let me invite our brother, Stephen. Stephen, he is a great leader there, taking care of the children and uh, also teaching youth about agriculture and uh, leading them to, to go to God and make their own uh, abundance. Happy welcome, Stephen. Today we pray for peace and uh, inspiration, motivation. Thank you. We pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father God, we thank you for the gift of peace. We thank you for the gift of vocation. 
We thank you. In Arua Diocese, yesterday you have called and ordained 12 priests and three deacons. We thank you. And also we pray for them that they may be the ambassador of peace. As my own brother, who is Father Isaac Oswa, you brought me together with him to study together, Lord. We surrender all the religious leaders. May you grant them the spirit that motivated them to do your service, to do your will. Bringing people to live in peace living under the influence of the Holy Spirit, that they may live in peace. Amid all calamities and the struggle of this world, Lord, we ask for only peace, love, and unity. And we pray for zeal that can influence your people to do according to the acts, the talents, the skills you entrusted to every individual. We ask your blessing upon the work of your hand through your chosen one, agricultural work, care for the needy, the vulnerable, the children, the sick. We pray for all doctors, nurses, and all medical personnel that their hands may always reign with peace, touching the life of your people to live in peace. We surrender all the Marian brothers that they may work for peace. As you gather us together, may you empower them with your spirit so that they may be instruments of peace to serve your people. Wherever they go, they represent peace. As your son Jesus Christ said, wherever you go, give peace to the family. May all the Marian brothers give peace to the family, give peace to the community wherever they go. And we pray for all our leaders of global peace building ambassadors that you may protect them and give them the courage and the strength to do your will. May they continue serving you at their various community, their local community that peace should reign in our midst. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Thank you, thank you, amen, amen, aju, aju, aju. Thank you. Aju, aju, aju. Thank you very much, dear Stephen, so powerful prayer, so good to hear from you. Yes, we like you, our dear brothers there, uh, let me go uh, um, in the world uh, and uh, this inspiration, these uh, miracles that we are facing here and we witness uh, this uh, and these peace building uh, meetings daily. Let's share with our brothers and sisters. Let them invite in this uh, global um, marathon uh, that. Uh, God inspire all the 8 billion people to unite in the Messiah's incoming tour. So we invite tomorrow all your friends and families and relatives. Let them also receive the same blessing, the same miracles of healing, of prosperity and inspiration, motivation. See you tomorrow, same time, same place. It's so good to be together. Let's rejoice together with God. And just don't invite just your friends and family. But uh, also everyone, up to presidents and prime ministers, to pray one minute for peace, and the peace will be done. Yeah, thank you very much.